Hey everyone, uh, we thought we'd do a quick uh, different video for a change. We've just had a truck coming from Texas yesterday. Uh, big thanks to Dow Hobbs who uh, picked up from the docks for us after a bit of messing about. But we got the truck back late last night, so we thought we'd um, use do a quick video really of us having a look at it for the first time, seeing all the stuff that's loaded in the back of it, and uh, just have a quick walk around it really. So we'll quickly flip the camera around. Obviously, we're in the hub at the moment, but obviously, the, the, we, last night, because of being so late, we actually put it straight into the back unit because uh, the weather and everything that's in the back of it. But there she is, 1983, 84, can't remember, I think it was 83, a Chevy C10. And us as usual, Johnny Texas has done his loading loads of stuff in the back for me. Uh, luckily, there's a tarp over it because typically, as it did yesterday, the day it lands in the UK, Hardly ever sees rain, and then as soon as it gets to the UK, it absolutely pisses down. So, luckily, Dow picked it up for us um, and got it straight back here. And then we just put it straight into the unit, the garrison at the back, just so it's out of the way. But yeah, there it is. I haven't had any chance to look at it really. And typically, other than unloading it, but typically, thanks to the docks, they always seem to screw one of the tyres up, and it's always a rear tyre. That don't look very clever. Great, and it did have a matching set of rallies on it, but clearly, unless it's in the back, that's all been screwed up. So, yeah, on a whole, it's the first time I've seen this truck, obviously since early photographs and stuff over in Texas when John sorted it. But, it don't look too bad, needs a good clean, but there's a few dents, a dent on the other side of the door that needs pulling out. It's like the lights hanging off, we're missing a screw on the inside. Let's have a look. Oh, this one's locked. Yeah. The one is slightly popped, let's have a look. There it is. Uh, I believe this one's a a small block 350 with a 350 transmission yeah it looks quite tidy actually i know it's most likely going to need a new battery and john says something about dropping some fuel down the carb and once it fires off it should be fine but it was it is a run and driver it might just need to get it's been stood so many so many months since buying and sitting at john's waiting for stuff to come in the back and then doing the uh the shipping and Houston holding vehicles for that long, trying to get them onto ships. No doubt the battery's dead, and it might just need a bit of a bit of love trying to get back fired up again. But on a whole, on a whole, it actually looks quite good. Yeah. So this door's not locked. So there's a bit of a dent in this door. Hopefully, it should pull out there. Standard dashboard cracked, yeah, in the sun. A few boxes, I'm gonna say most of them probably Mexican blankets. Hannah, I believe that might be your brake setup. There's a coat clock in there. In fact, I should have had that months ago actually. I think that's the one that John finally got in. It's probably street signs on the other side. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll uh, um, uncover the back and see what else is in there. Cause it's been that long i've actually forgotten what i brought so i know there's a brand new set of detroit steels in the back which in fact there, there they are which should belong to darren cool right i'll put the camera down we'll get it uncovered Yeah, so it's, again, it's like I said, well, since John's uncovered it, or John's covered it pretty well and loaded it as good as ever. So this is the best chance now to kind of remind myself what I actually brought. <laughs> but there's three fire engines, another cool pedal car, all early pedal cars. That one's been repainted by the look of it, not really, or overspray of some sort, it's not great. It's a bay window fridge, I think. Is that a fridge? Yeah, or old bay window fridge. And there's a sink unit. Another pretty cool pedal car there. 
and bits, might be car bits, I don't know, I'm not sure. Yeah, possible. Uh, pretty cool old tractor there. I said there's a free fire engines. I started taking them top ones off if you want Harrison. That's pretty cool. I've never seen this one. Might keep that one. And then this it's like a three wheeler. Let's try and get this off. Ah, right, okay. So John did mention something about having a bad flat time and swap one over. But this at least this means I can have a matching set, I suppose, doesn't it? What else is that? <laughs> Harrison, nice new hat. Nah, yeah. Why not? Where'd you love that? I'm so trying to work out what else is in here. But... Oh, motorbike, yeah. <laughs> Those that can see, there's a motorbike under there. Forgot about that. Let's open the back up. Darren's new wheels. Very nice. Let's have a look. Darren, make sure they're still in there. Yep. Oh, they're still raw. I forgot. Oh, yeah, we didn't get these on powder coated out there, did we? Uh, he'll be happy. I want to say they're 20s. I think he had 20s fitted. Oh, 20s built. 16 week weight for these from Detroit Steels. But, and then a three week build, I think it was. But these are going on his blazer, which is absolutely looking stunning at the moment. So he'll be happy, mate. Yeah, uh, I think I'll put the camera down and we'll get this unloaded. Oh, So the truck's unloaded, um, first time looking at the bed as well actually, which isn't too bad. That's a nice punch of hole at the very top, I don't know if you can see on this. But, uh, no, the bed looks absolutely awesome. Probably one of the best beds we've had actually, don't you reckon? Yeah. Look, there's not much rust in it, other than this back bit on the end there. There's a little bit of dent over there as well. Yeah, and there's a hole at the top end, yeah. But right. Yeah, so we've unloaded the truck, uh, me and Harrison unloaded the truck, get everything on the floor. Um, again, just to get that reminder of what's actually in it. I mean, you can see from behind me, there's quite a bit of stuff. So what I'll do is we'll open up some of the boxes and see what we've actually got. So, right, got one of these. I'm going to say blankets. Yeah, all the same colour? Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, I kind of ordered a, a load of stuff, so. So, a red. Yeah, red. I'm going to say, we don't need to open more, but. No, they'll just be different colours, but yeah, oh, that's quite nice blue actually. Sorry, let's see what colours it all colour. Oh, it was underneath. Yeah. Oh shit. There's the coat clock. That's quite cool actually. Nice coat clock. I'm not sure what age it is on that one. I don't know what it'll say on the back. I think this is one John's had for quite a while. Um he just kept forgetting it where it was. I think it ended up in Lowell's office actually. Um but I think that's the one he sent over. Yeah, oh yeah, cool. A few different variations. I'm guessing those boxes are the same. So they're the Mexican blankets that we get shipped over to John in Texas. Um, I think these are Hannah's for her C10. Yeah, brand new, brand new components. Nice. Why is this one in a plane box then? It's the same thing. Yeah, her truck, the wheel come off I think, and trash all the brakes. So she's had to order a new set. But she'll be happy, I'll let her know. Uh, right, what about Harrison? Get the knife. I'm gonna say, I'm hoping these two are coolers. So, slice that across the top. Let's have a look. Uh, right, okay, what, what's that? Oh, that's a snap master, isn't it? That's pretty cool. We'll get that out in a minute. Mm -hmm. Uh, next, what's that sound there? So, uh, which is, I'm going to say this one is hopefully the, the double dot Pepsi cooler. Oh, 
while you're doing that, I'm just going to have a look over here. Uh, usual bits, we all seem to have these. We all seem to end up with spark plugs. Mirror, that'll be off the Honda, I guess. I'm well happy that we've got a matching wheel, which is great. Oh, oh shit, okay, that's not. That'll be the uh, Canada Dry. It's pretty tidy. So there's still a double dot somewhere then. Uh, I'm going to say it must be in the next truck. I was hoping that was in this truck. That's definitely a Snapmaster, that's that one. There's no other big boxes like that, is there? No. Shit. Okay. Um, no, this one is. So look, I'm going to say this was Darren's rings, I think, for his, his wheels. Yeah. It's truck steel. Hello, mate, you alright? Just having a mooch. Grab that one off for us. Hold that open, mate. What we do we say these were 20s? I think we said they were 20s, weren't they? His blazer. Let's send down a message, let him know here. What are them? Do you want to open them up? Yeah, Chuck coming last night, so it's the first time we've had Chuck the chance to look at it. Uh, okay. Ah, yeah, Hannah's again, I think. It's all part of a wheel setup. I'll have to check my list, but I'm pretty sure that's Hannah. That'll be the same, will it? Just check it white wise yeah. That's all right. So here's a, the pedal cars. Again, that's been repainted down the sides. I don't like it. This one's pretty cool. I do like this. The deluxe. Let's find out some of the actual age on them. That's what I said. It's a cracker, that, isn't it? Yeah. Proper old classic cherry bomb. That was attached to many a Vauxhall Corsa back in the day, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's been through. There's yeah. Nothing in them, is there? No, it's just literally a tube, isn't it? Yeah, they got some holes in them, but then it just goes into nothingness on the yeah. inside. Yeah. Well, that's a pepper. It's been out well. Yeah, it's faded a bit. <laughs> Surprising what you find in these trucks. Yeah, they've got all the... Yeah, they all come out the truck. That's pretty cool. Little three-wheeler. Looks in good nick, actually. I think... Is it... Must be to do with this. Oh, yeah. So... So that twist and chap... It's all... Obviously connected to the back instead to tilt it. That's pretty trick, I like that. And the Honda C, that's 1971. Which again is in better condition than I expected. Oh, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's just literally that. The carb looks quite good nick as well, doesn't it? Sticky now, Phil, you don't mind, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Technical advisor. There's no like, raccoons in it or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there might be the odd spider or probably snake. Snake in the carb. Can you do it? Oh, it's nice, that looks quite tidy, isn't it? Yeah, we actually want. I think John said he put dropped a load of fuel in. He said, put, drop a load of fuel in it, put a new battery on it, or a hot battery as he calls it. Yeah, yeah. And um, it, it took a while, but he got it fired. <laughs> no, not right now. Depends, because usually they fry the batteries, like I said, because they've been sat so long. There's always something that either drains the battery, or they do something that drains the battery. Yeah. These are the sort of things, you leave the ignition on, it'll fry it as well. Yeah, it's, it's just constant drain, isn't it? Yeah. The other ones, usually the trick is they, they have a light inside the interior. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, you might not be on, but one of my other trucks, it drains the battery on that one. Yeah, well. it just thinks about being on the whole time, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's not too bad on first impressions, anyway. There's a big dirty crack in the window screen, mind. Yeah, just happens I've got one window screen left. Look at that. That's a ripper, isn't it? Is that a plastic one? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I said dashboard's got the usual crack to diff, crack to diff, crack to death in the sun, but. Yeah, look at that. That's why they all bought these carpet covers, it's easy yeah. just to cover up. A few bits need tidying up, there's a lot of... Bloody hell. That's, that looks like the bottom of the... That's that, probably the that's, indicator, isn't it? I don't know. It's not the bottom of the... It looks like a bifold, it's initially bottom of the speedo. <laughs> oh, or the back of the speedo. 
It could be the reader for your gear linkage. Let's turn the wires in here, look at this. <laughs> Get them. Um, what the hell are they off? Yeah. Yeah. Could be new age jukebox. Uh, uh, it's got probably Bluetooth in it or something, because you've got... Oh, there's a phone yeah. number, yeah, phone yeah. signal. Um, little um, call it, um, SD card or something. Yeah. You've got a bleeding word now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Actually, yeah, because you've got answer and yeah. that hang up, ain't you? Yeah. The green and red phone. I think it is. BT, USB, SD, radio player. Cool. Uh, I wonder if the mileage is actually correct on that. But... <laughs> Not if the speedo gate weren't joined on. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> cool. <clears throat> I love these fire engines. I'm gonna have to low rider one of these. I oh, know, yeah. <laughs> Owl bearing. Wall bearing. What am I about? Owl bearing. Wall bearing. That's pretty cool. It's bloody heavy, I know that. Just steering wheel. Yeah, I meant to buy them before they left. Because you can still get the steering wheel on parts of the cars. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're not much money, I keep meaning to do it, but. I do like the Honda. What else is there? Oh, these are all off. I think these are bay window, John said. Whether that's part of uh, a Westy kit, I don't know. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Might be part of a Westy interior. I know it's three sinks. Everything on the kitchen sinks. Yeah. Yeah, usually. And all that fits in one building truck. Yeah. And there's only this one I know it's done yet, opened up here. I'm going to say that street signs. Yeah, so I initially thought car, but I didn't think it was for the bike, but that'll be for the Honda. So what's that more, just spare bits? Oh, is that two then? Is that the second one? Bottom. On top again. Different bowl. Hmm. I think I remember yeah, right when we bought it over there, they said something about um, it might just need new carbs or carbs clean and it should fire up. Oh yeah, it's lots of them. It keeps it a bit better, doesn't it? Yeah. Somebody's excuse for an air filter. <laughs> <laughs> and you need the floats in there as well. Oh yeah, I'll save it. Do yeah, I'm glad, you, I'm glad that was in there. If, if customs or shipping have fucked one of them up. Yeah, yeah. You can make a set up now, can you? Yeah. yeah, at least it's a matching set. Oh, all right, one's silver but, uh, and the rest are black, but it's better than that one. I mean, that's not a bad wheel, to be fair, but... I'm not sure if that's something John did all the customs in. Eh? Yeah, yeah. This is an 83, so they must have switched over. Unless it depends on the model. Um, they must have put electric yeah. electric into them. Because most of them are winders, but I'm guessing they must have came out in electrics at some point. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a cup dent here. And then the door's got a cracker in it. But that, that could pop out, that. Yeah. And get a door card off. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah, that one's a shame. I mean, but you might get the bottom out the bottom out. The top's not too bad. Okay, kick that out. Yeah, sliding back windows. It's probably Lee. No. I'm just going to find out. It's probably never seen rain until it got here. They normally are. Yeah, it'll be the bed mounts have gone. Yeah. We had the 77 did the same. We couldn't work it out and we realised that. Looking at that was the only way we realised it was because like, I looked at all the suspension and everything, I thought it's on the piss. Yeah, yeah. And we sat out here with Rob and he's like, what about the bed now? He's like, oh. So yeah, and we measured each side and yeah, you can yeah. see the drop in that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so they tend to perish that nicely. Yeah, we well, can just see it. Just yeah. yeah. But um, that truck's had the whole strip apart now, so it's obviously had new bed mounts put on it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Through that. I've got, I've got the long extension on this, I don't know if I see it. It's pretty clean. Not very rusty, not oily enough. That's why your handbrake so slow. Yeah. Is it even on? It's on there, it looks it's like it's really connected. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that new? The exhaust looks new actually, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I will have pictures of this somewhere, but it's like I said, it seems so long ago since I actually bought the truck. Yeah. Yeah, so I managed to get the signs out as well. Again, trying to remember. Um, I've forgotten what I got, but yeah, there's a few small, the smaller stop signs. They look pretty good condition, actually. 
A couple of these, these are quite cool. Fluorescent orange ones, or orange red, I'm going to say orange. And then some small speed limit 30s, which are actually in really good nick. What's up there? Traffic services. Yeah, pretty cool. These are actually almost they clean up, they look really, really good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm not sure if I looked at these or not. It's by window sinks. I can't remember these. Needs a bit of work, obviously, an old van, but should have been good for something. Yeah, so as you can see, not a bad haul of uh, goodies really, just before Christmas in this truck that's just landed. We've got uh, the Julie, which is at Houston, which is the Chevy C C30. Um, Julie, which we're hoping to keep as a shop truck, which will be quite interesting. Um, we've got a few good plans with that, but obviously I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that'll land before Christmas, but the way shipping's going at the moment, I ain't gonna hold my breath. Um, again, there's an absolute stack of parts, panels and stuff in the back of that, which would be quite interesting when we get that. So if anyone's interested in this side of what we're doing here, then by all means, follow us on that side of things as well. Um, we'll get the truck um, out, get it back out of the unit, I think. We need the space for the uh, workshop side of things anyway. So I need to get a battery on that, get the tyre sorted. Um, we've already put it, we've already put it, we've already put the uh, black spare that you saw in the video onto the truck. It's, it's put air in it and it's already gone down overnight. So um, we'll end up getting it off down to see Paul and the lads at Cribs Tyres and um, get that changed and sorted uh, as soon as we can really so at least the truck is mobile and then just look at getting the battery. We've had a quick mess about with the battery which we didn't show on the video. Uh, it just looks like it needs life um, so I'm hoping it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully we'll get that going as well then but, um, but yeah we'll do a, we'll try and get the, the truck up on the ramp uh, and try and get it started and we'll probably follow, follow that up with another video with a bit of luck. But yeah uh, as you can see behind I've already had a quick clean up um and joe's motorbike in here ready for tomorrow but uh, but yeah i had a quick clean up ready to get the workshop back uh we've got some more things coming in from the workshop side with uh, draper tools delivery so we need to make space for that and get this truck outside ready for tomorrow then so yeah we'll leave that where it is for now um yeah we'll get some more videos going quite sh uh shortly uh, especially with this truck and hopefully the julie next as well so yeah if you like the video if you can like the video and share it and obviously drop any comments down into the uh, area below in the description area and but yeah i uh, hope to, hopefully we'll be back soon with some more info on this truck and hopefully the next truck as well so see you all soon cheers